Oh, and a beautiful spring, oh, I'm sorry, fall day <laughs> out there today. And Chief Meteorologist Joe Veras joins us now. But you got your eyes on something bigger that uh, could have a pretty significant impact on us, but the East Coast, forget about it. That's right. That's going to be the worst hit areas, obviously, right along coastal areas of the Mid-Atlantic and possibly in the southern New England. But to the time frame we're looking at here in the Twin Tiers, Monday and Tuesday, that's when our weather will be at its worst with some very heavy rain potentially and some strong gusty winds as well. We're going to have the latest on Sandy for you coming up in just a minute. Great. In the meantime, our weather headlines for tonight are still enjoying some mild conditions out there and another mild night tonight with lows only in the 50s. Partly sunny skies for our Friday after some morning fog. Looks like another mild afternoon and then rainy and windy as we go into next week, especially Monday and Tuesday. Those look to be the two worst days out of the next seven. In the meantime, we have a cold front back to the west. So until that front moves through, we're going to stay with some warm conditions here in the Twin Tiers. Notice to our east, though, you can see some low clouds here over eastern Pennsylvania and then towards the New York City area. That's because high pressure over New England is allowing for some eastern, easterly and southeasterly winds to push some Atlantic moisture in these areas, and that's kept temperatures cooler down there. We've obviously broken into some sunshine with much warmer conditions the farther north and west you go, but check out Scranton with clouds at only 59 degrees, 60 in New York City, and it's going to be a close call tomorrow again where that sunshine cloud line sets up. It looks like we start off with clouds tomorrow, then break out in some sunshine again tomorrow afternoon, so I'm expecting another warm day. 81 right now in Danville, 79 in Hornell, 73 the current temperature in Elmira. We hit 77 earlier today, which tied the record high for the day. So partly sunny skies for our Friday, not a bad end of the work week with southerly winds pushing temperatures back up into the low and perhaps some mid 70s. Clouds increase though as we go through tomorrow night and then here comes that cold front from the west slowing down as it moves in from the west as we go through Saturday kind of stalling out over the twin tiers giving us occasional light rain showers that into Sunday as well. That's not uh, the, the moisture associated with Sandy that comes early next week and here's the latest track currently a category two hurricane moves along the Florida coast tomorrow tries to head out to sea but gets absorbed into a trough of low pressure and heads back towards the north and west. Closer inspection of what we're looking at here in the northeast and the associated computer models, they're all making that northwesterly hook there. So it looks anywhere between the Delmarva up through southern New England under the gun for potential landfall from Sandy, which would be a tropical storm by then. Impacts while we're talking severe beach erosion, coastal and inland flooding, damaging winds, potentially hundreds of thousands without power and the chance for some inland uh, high elevation snows as well. Here in the Twin Tiers, still a little too early to, to, to figure out exactly what impacts we're going to see, but certainly a few inches of rain not out of the question and some damaging wind gusts as well. Forecast for today uh, was 76. We made it up to 77. Here's a forecast for the rest of the overnight period. It's going to be a dry night, but we may see some fog and drizzle developing well after midnight. Temperature staying mild with lows in the lower 50s, and it looks like another warm day for tomorrow as that cold front stays to our west. A five degree guarantee of 74, some light rain showers over the weekend, cooler temperatures behind that front, and then we get stormy early next week. The remnants of Sandy heading our way. Be prepared for some heavy amounts of rain, some strong gusty winds, and possibly some flooding. If you asking what should you do right now, try and get the leaves out of your gutters, out of any storm drain areas, because uh, when we get that heavy rain, the leaves are going to only add to the problem, which could result in flooding. Very good advice. Thank you very much, Joe.